Hello folks, welcome back. This is a quick video. Uh, we are going to learn how to create an elastic IP address in AWS and then assign to your EC2 instance. So elastic IP address is nothing but it's a static IP address uh, capability provided uh, by AWS because especially if you have a free tier account, every time you stop and uh, restart your EC2 instance, your uh, public IP address and then DNS name going to change. Okay, so how to avoid that? For that, you must create an elastic IP address, uh, which is again a static IP address from uh, AWS. So once you create and then attach to your uh, EC2 instance, every time you stop your EC2 instance and then restart, your uh, IP address is not going to be changing. Okay, you are always going to have a static IP address. Okay, so how to do that? So let, let's get started. I also, you know, given the steps in my website as well, coachdevops.com. So you can also, you know, feel free to uh, go through this particular page. Okay, I will also post this link uh, below my video as well. Okay, so let's uh, get started here. So this is the EC2 instance. Uh, right now it is running. It does not have, uh, you know, elastic IP address associated with it. It just has a, you know, like a public IP address. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to first, uh, you know, create uh, elastic IP address. So how do you create? Click on elastic IPs and then you are going to click on uh, allocate elastic IP address, right? And then click on allocate. So this is going to create a static IP address, right? As you can see here. Okay. So what we wanted to do, we wanted to assign this, uh, you know, static IP address, right? Or this elastic IP address to this uh, Jenkins EC2 instance. Okay. So how to do that? So you have to go back to elastic IP address, right? And then click on action. So I have already selected it, right? So I have already selected that. Click on action and then say associate, right? Click on associate. And then here you are going to choose your EC2 instance, right? So in this case, I have only one EC2 instance. I want to assign this elastic IP address to my Jenkins instance. So I'm going to select that one. And then when you move your mouse over, this should you know, automatically tell you what is the uh, private IP address, right? So I'm going to pick up that. And then, you know, you can also use this one, right? So, uh, you know, whenever this is, uh, you know, uh, like let's say you stop this instance, so obviously, right, your elastic IP address is going to be available. So you can also, you know, reuse this for uh, other uh, IP address as well. So I would also want to select this and then click on associate. So as you can see here, Elastic IP address has been associated. If I go to my instances, you see here, the IP address got changed. Now this has the Elastic IP address. So every time you stop this instance and then restart, this IP address is always going to be the same. Okay. So that's it guys. You know, that's how you create uh, Elastic IP address and then you would assign to your EC2 instance. Thank you for watching.